Warning. I say a lot of bad words. Not your man. Some people kept on asking me to talk about this guy. So here y'all go. Imagine if Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, Ric Flair, and Hulk Hogan did like a failed fusion. You would end up having Macho Warrior Ric Hogan. Randy, go ahead. Let what now, Randy? People, let me Listen ask up. everybody this question. Have everybody heard of the Ultimate Warrior? Have you heard of the Ultimate Warrior? Have you heard of the Macho Man, Randy Savage? Have you heard of Nature Boy, Ric Flair? Have you heard of Hulk Hogan? Well, I got something better than that. You got something got better something than all those guys? I got better than that, and I want to bring him out right now. People, this is the next great superstar in professional wrestling. Bring him out here right now. Who is it? I, I want to see here. this. It's yeah, the I do too. show warrior, Ric Hogan! The Macho Warrior, Rick Hogan, yeah! Oh, boy, I'm gonna take you right to the top. You tell these people exactly what you're gonna do, Macho Warrior. Turn around. Let's... Well, let me tell you something. Randy Hales, Corey Macklin, yeah. Everybody comes here to the USWA to come and get the gold. Well, this man right here, Mr. Mr. I like to call him manager is gonna lead me to that title. And Jerry Lawler, brother! Corey Macklin, brother! All my brothers out there and brothers at home, dude, what you gonna do when the Macho Warrior runs rampant on the USWA, brother? Memphis State have some shit going down over there. It never fucking fails. Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. His legs look like some goddamn chicken drums. How your legs even get that big? That shit crazy as hell. This is Macho Warrior's first match in USWA. He facing some guy named Tony Williams. I don't know who the hell that is. Oh my goodness. Macho, oh yeah, the Macho Warrior. Yeah, Rick what was Hogan. that? What was that he was... He was having a snack while he was out here doing the interview, too. Obviously a Slim Jim. Yeah. Oh, Tony wow. Williams giving away, I don't know, 4,000 pounds almost. Whoa! Look at this guy. He's huge. Tony gives him a good drop kick, but it doesn't get him off his feet. It did get him back in the turnbuckles. Tony Williams hanging on. Look out! I do not give a fuck about this match. They're really having this guy lose to Rick Hogan. They just fucking booking anything. I could book some shit better than this. The whole match is just Rick Hogan walking around, taunting the whole time. He walking around trying to act like Macho Man. <laughs> oh, look out, Tony, little surprise move. Oh, man, he came off the middle rope. I think I saw the entire ring sag when he stood up on that rope, too. Rick Hogan throws him off the ropes, and then he hits a Hulk Hogan big boot. Then he starts trying to ally Ric Flair. Who came up with this shit? He's <laughs> got it all. He's got the strut. I He's got it. the Slim Jim. He's got the yellow and red. He's the Macho Warrior. Ooh. Ow. Tony Williams left oh, no. in the middle of the ring. Oh. Big leg drops down across it. Tony tries to make a comeback. He starts trying to punch him and shit, but he's doing like zero damage. That shit remind me of that SpongeBob bully trying to punch on SpongeBob. Rick Hogan starts hulking up. He punched him like one time, then he moves him into the corner and just starts choking him. That was the worst comeback ever. This guy continues to hammer on Tony Williams. Got him back in the corner. He's choking him. Referee's calling for a break. He's starting to count. This guy's still, oh, oh yeah. knocks a referee down. Fucking Rick Hogan pushes the referee out the way. He won't stop choking Tony Williams. He ended up getting DQ'd. I don't even know why he choking him. All he had to do was just sit on him. Rick Hogan just lays his knee on his chest. Then fucking Brian Christopher comes out and he saves Tony Williams. Christopher out. Look out! He goes after this guy. Come on, there's no need for this. Now look out! Macho Warrior hits the deck. Brian Christopher was about the same size as the other guy, but he was able to knock down Rick Hogan. This was the greatest debut in the history of this TV station, and you ruined it by sticking your nose in the business that wasn't yours. Brian Christopher, you think you're big and bad. You were playing kids up with Whoopi D earlier. Well, you're the USWA heavyweight champion now, and if you have any guts, Brian Christopher, you'll agree to a match with the Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. 
my man, the guy that I will take to the top. Wait a minute, because wait a minute, I'm hold it, hold it. What are you trying to do, Randy? I'm making a challenge. I'm challenging Brian Christopher to wrestle him for the USWA Heavyweight Championship. They fucking had this guy do the shitty debut match, and now they're trying to put him in the world title picture. That shit crazy. Brian Christopher versus Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. If I was Brian Christopher, I would say fuck no. Wait in line like everybody else. He fucking lost his first match, and now his manager trying to give him a title match. No way, dude! I got a plan and get this ready! Whatever my manager says is best is what's best for me, dude! I'll who can charge you around here anyway that can change change the car. Who can change oh, I'm not gonna car? change the car. Will you card? work on that? Cause Dave Brown sure can. Will you accept the challenge? All right, you got a title shot. We got it here, baby. That's right, baby. We're gonna be the champs. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're gonna have to get that. We're gonna have to get that approved by the promotion. We can't. No, do it. I think that's good, Dave. I cannot find Rick Hogan going up against Brian Christopher for the world title. Rick Hogan ended up winning the match. I don't know how, but he won. No wonder USWA died doing dumb shit like this. Here's a promo of him with the title. Ooh yeah, the Macho Warrior Rick Hogan comes to the USWA and Randy Hales is a visionary because he said I'd get gold here and lo and behold Brian Christopher I've got your title now <laughs> next order of business baby is a Colorado kid because the Macho Warrior is styling and profiling baby and Colorado it's time for you to walk that aisle Woo! and all oh my little warriors are cheering for Rick Hogan. Hogan. Burt Prentice, daddy. Colorado kid, brother. Randy Hale's brother. Burt Prentice, brother. What are you gonna do, dude, when the macho warrior Rick Hogan comes after that unified title, brother? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Randy, I love him. He is great. He is the USWA champion, and he'll be the world heavyweight champion. Yeah. Another one is doing. I hate Colorado kid. All right. Yeah, he's there. Corey Macklin. I guess in this storyline, Randy Hales is going crazy or some shit. I don't know. This big old guy is trying to say that he is. I think that he is, too, teaming up with Rick Hogan. Randy, he needs help. Randy, let me get you to a hospital. Not a referee in the ring, Burt coming up uh, right now on USWA Wrestling. After Rick Hogan beat Brian Christopher, he decided to go for the tag team belts. He was not satisfied with the world title. Stepping up on the ring apron is the new USWA heavyweight champion, Macho Warrior Rick Hogan, and Crusher Bones in his corner. Rick Hogan's tag team partner name is Crusher Bones. i never seen this guy before in my life, and they're facing two jobbers. Well, Crusher Bones and uh, the Macho Warrior, no doubt about it, they're an awesome tag team. They got T.D. Steele in there right now. T.D.'s partner, Flash Flanagan, back in the corner. And so far, yeah, Crusher Bones. Oh, uh, look out. This is just a straight up ass kicking right here. Crusher and Rick Hogan just beating his ass. His tag partner ain't get in yet. The guy finally makes a hot tag to his tag team partner. I wouldn't say it was a hot tag. It was more like a warm tag, but it wasn't terrible though. There, Randy, and I'm not sure you're gonna get it where you're looking. Russia, oh, oh my goodness, look at Flash Flanagan trying to take control here. Quit talking about I'm not gonna Takes Crusher Bones down. Down is one. How's that? Hey, comes with a drop kick against the Macho Warrior. I ain't gonna lie, this match fucking sucks. The other guy gets in the ring and he starts getting his ass beat again. I ain't never seen somebody lose control that fast before. They don't let that guy hit a single move at all in this match. There's really not too much to say about this match. Nothing really happens. Top now, Jerry Lawler. And a star maker, Randy. He knows nothing about being a professional wrestling manager. Don't go there, Randy Hills. I'm warning you right now. Don't go there. Look at that. Look at that. 400 pounds. Turn out the lights, Jerry Lawler, because it's all over now. That match is fucking four minutes long. I don't know. I just don't give a fuck about that shit. After the match, Randy Hill is trying to say they the next tag team champions. I wouldn't be surprised if they be champions at this point because Rick Hogan is a fucking heavyweight champion. Heavyweight, heavyweight champion. These are the next tag team champions. And Burt Prentice, let me tell you. Burt Prentice, let me tell you this, Burt Prentice. Let me say this. Oh, yeah. If you stick your nose in my business again, you will be signing your death warrant. I'm going to stay out of my life. Stay out of my life. Oh yeah, just like 
Randy Hale said it would happen. The Macho Warrior, yeah, Rick Hogan, USWA champion, brother. All right, now you finally get to see Crusher Bones do his thing. Yay! Well, they're an awesome tag team. There's no doubt about it. Randy Hales is put together here. Uh, Macho Woo! Warrior and Crusher Bones, victorious here today. In the oh, yeah. Is that what he said? I don't even know what happens after this because I can't find any of his other matches. On Cage Match, he only showed five matches. And they missing a few of his matches. But here's another promo of him calling out Colorado Kid. Oh, yeah. The Macho Warrior, Rick Hogan, comes to the USWA. And what does he do? He proves himself by taking Brian Christopher's World Heavyweight title. Yeah. Now the matter at hand. The Colorado Kid, yeah. You and that big fat Burt Prentice, yeah. Well, the macho warrior, Rick Hogan. Hogan, well, what you gonna do, Colorado Kid and big fat Burt Prentice, when the macho warrior and his manager, Randy Hales, my main dude, you wanted to rough him up, brother, you, that means you're messing with the macho warrior, dude. And when you're doing that, you got problems, brother. So now... <laughs> Colorado Kid, yeah. You think that because you beat Jerry Lawler for that unified title, that makes you a legend in wrestling. Well, I'll tell you something. The Macho Warrior Rick Hogan and Randy Hales is going to take your belt and it's going to leave Burt Prentice hanging. So what you going to do, Colorado Kid, when the Macho Warrior comes for you? I guess he had a feud with Colorado Kid after he left the USWA. And that was the end of Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. He wrestled under a different name. He called himself Tower of Doom. This is like one of the only matches I could find as him wrestling as Tower of Doom. I don't know what the hell he's wearing. Got on all black. He's facing another jobber. He starts whooping his ass. Then he hits him with a fucking nasty chair shot. I don't like those type of chair shots. That just seemed fucking careless. He starts setting up the chairs, then he power bombs them through the chairs. That shit look fucking painful, bro. In like 2002, Rick Hogan got arrested for watching child corn. We placed a C with a P. I'm saying it like that because I don't want to get demonetized. There's like a few pages talking about this. This shit is so disgusting. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this. But yeah, after he got arrested, he retired from wrestling and he never came back. A couple of years ago, he was streaming on Twitch. His name was Road Rash. He also has a YouTube channel, but he doesn't post on there either. The last time he posted was like a year ago. And that's pretty much the story of Macho Warrior Rick Hogan. The internet is pretty interesting when it comes to wrestling because because they randomly just talk about wrestlers from like 20 years ago, just like this video right here. Damn, that's crazy. But anyways, if you followed the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Nacho Man out.